thank my, I want to thank our uh, nominees today. Congratulations. Uh, Dr. Taylor Kale and Dr. Plum, you uh, you're going to have a very important position here, defense industrial-based policies. Can both of you briefly talk about how important critical minerals are for our defense industrial base, how reliant we are on China, yeah. critical minerals, rare earths, mm -hmm. and, um, well, are they important? Can you just give me a quick answer? I have a number of questions on these. Senator, yes, uh, both critical minerals and specifically rare earths are, are really important inputs, and, and there are, as you know, supply chain issues. Supply chain and reliance issues on China, correct? That's my understanding, sir. And does that undermine our national security? Senator, I think making sure we have a robust and resilient supply chain for them is absolutely critical for our national security. Do you agree with that, Dr. Taylor, Taylor Kale? Absolutely. I, I'm concerned about our supply chains being vulnerable to foreign adversaries, as well as the sole source suppliers, so absolutely. And if it's possible, and the President has held summits on this already, the best approach is to be able to source these from home, particularly critical minerals, rare earths, which we have an abundance of. Isn't that correct? Yes, sir. That's that? my understanding. Yeah. Would you agree with that? That's my understanding as well. So I want to I want to talk a little bit about a issue that's uh, just as a head shaker for me. Um, my state has enormous natural resources, oil, gas critical minerals, rare earth elements, great state of Alaska, some estimates more than almost any other country in, in the world. Uh, yet the Biden administration has issued 26 executive orders and executive actions focused on shutting down these things. I'm going to talk about one because it's, uh, it's just remarkable. And, and um, we have a area called the Ambler Mining District that is considered one of the most extensive mineral resources critical minerals of undeveloped zinc, copper, lead, gold, silver, of anywhere in the world. We have no transportation to it. So for decades, we have worked on a road to the Ambler Mining District. Uh, this project began under the Obama administration, seven years of permitting, millions and millions of dollars, got the final record of decision uh, on this in July of 2020 to start the road to the Ambler Mining District. Everybody supported it. Uh, on February 22nd, 2022, the same day the President hosted a summit to announce steps to enhance America's critical mineral supply chains, the Department of Interior reversed the previous administration's record of decision and shut down the uh, record a decision for the road to the Ambler Mining District. So, the President's holding a summit on these issues. Other part of the administration, as they do on most things in Alaska, shut it down. Crushing jobs, of course, but really undermining um, our national security, defense issues. The President then, in March, announced his plan to use the Defense Production Act to secure reliable supply chains for critical minerals used in batteries and, uh, that power electric vehicles, which include those from the Ambler Mining District. How smart do you think that move was in Alaska to shut down critical mineral production? By the way, seven-year EIS, 36,000 public comments, 30 public hearings, 30 consultations with tribal groups. How smart do you think that is for our industrial base, defense industrial base, which the two of you will oversee? Senator, as you noted at the beginning, we, we need to figure out ways to get onshore more reliable access to critical minerals. And if confirmed, I would absolutely work on making sure I understand these cases, other cases like this, and make sure we robustly advocate for the right mix of investments and support to get that reliable supply chain for those critical minerals. Dr. Taylor Kale, how, how do you think this makes sense? Uh, Senator, I understand how important this Ambler mine is to the people of Alaska, and I, I thank you for, for raising the issue and 
for bringing this up. Um, I'm not familiar with the decision-making yeah. process and in the, in the details, but I want to reiterate my colleague um, in noting that, you know, general looking at the case-by-case -case understanding of how we can better improve access to critical minerals and strategic materials will be absolute important. And, and well, look, I appreciate your answers. This is an ongoing, I can't get answers from anybody in the Pentagon, at the Department of Interior. Why would you do this? Why would you do this? Okay, this thing is the highest environmental standards. So until I get answers, I think both of you are qualified. Until I get answers, I'm gonna put a hold on both of your nominations until I get answers from high level administration officials. I'm sick and tired of the targeting of my great state. 26 executive orders. Jack, could you imagine, Mr. Chairman, if they did that to Rhode Island? And it's hurting not just my state, my workers, it's hurting the national security of America. So until I get answers on Ambler at high levels, unfortunately, I'm not going to help move your nominations forward, even though I think you're qualified, you have important positions. But this is important. Same day the president holds a summit on critical minerals, they shut down one of the biggest critical mineral supplies in America, maybe in the world because of their relentless war on the state of Alaska. So I need answers, and then your nominations can move. I have more questions for the record that I will submit. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Senator Sullivan. Senator Hawley, please. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Congratulations to the nominees. Thank you for being here. Mr. Owens.